everyone and welcome to another scrawler box unboxing and challenge i cannot wait to see what's in this box so let's just get into it we've got our supplies we've got our print our artist pencil paper special edition for scrawler box it says and let's get into it starting off with wham our candy first up we've got our chameleon color tone pencils which I've heard of chameleon markers, so I've got to wonder if these are the same. And they are double tipped, which is pretty dang cool. Next, we have this Zig two-way glue fine point. What? Oh, I didn't realize we had our Faber Castell perfection eraser pencil amongst those pencils. And a Zig writer for vellum. And of course, our Carolina Delphi pencil paper pack. Okay, so let's see what our challenge is. And it is twisted reality. Ooh, I'm into that. All right, so I've got the textured paper on this side and the smooth paper on this side. Let's test the materials really quick and then get to creating. We've got hot pink and fluorescent pink, light coral and soft shell, soft shell, pine and teal, Midnight blue and cobalt blue, heather and iris. Not gonna lie, I actually quite like the colors. So let's also test out the ink pen. I'm actually quite curious to check out this erase. Oh, oh my God. Okay, not going to lie. I expected this to be like a pencil, but look at it. It's squishy. That really threw me off. Oh my God, that's so weird. I don't know, I guess it's pretty interesting that it's a pencil shape because most small erasers I have are tube shaped. Um, so that's pretty cool. You can also use a sharpener on it. Shall we try it? Oh my God, look at that. Whoa, look at that. We're actually sharpening the eraser bit too. That's actually kind of crazy. <gasps> oh, it looks weird. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's the eraser. Holy cow, that's so weird. Okay, so I thought of an idea and I thought I would do a sort of mirror reflection. And I wanted to use my character hatch cause I like my character hatch. So I wanted to draw him in a sort of alternate reality world. Plus we've got a lot of really good colors here. So hatch would really fit to those colors. So I want to do that. Also, I decided to use the smooth paper because I just like the way it looked compared to the rough paper. I really like rough paper when it comes to, I guess, watercolor, but when it came to pencil, I just really like the smooth look more than the textured look. So I haven't decided if I want Hatch to look maybe like a real animal or if I want Hatch to look like a horror thing, like a skeleton or a ghost or something. So I am just going to design the mirror really quick and then I will hopefully be able to decide on what I want to do as far as uh, Hatch's alternate reality goes. And if you don't know who Hatch is, Hatch is one of my original characters. He is a bunny lemur, but he's also a stuffed animal. So he's got this really cutesy look to him and very simple because like I said, he is, he's a stuffed animal. Okay, so I've got a sketch here. Let's see if we can line art it. I'm really curious to see how I like regular colored pencils because every time I'm faced with watercolor pencils, I'm just not a fan. So I'm really excited to finally give regular colored pencils a chance. I do own regular color pencils myself, but I've never done a full colored pencil illustration. I've only ever just added colored pencil details to my watercolor illustrations. So it'll be really interesting to see what I do with a full color pencil illustration. I'm going to erase the pencil marks and then we can get to coloring it. All right, um, here I go coloring it. Right away, I can tell you, I just don't care for colored pencil because of the texture you get. I love watercolor because of that really, really smooth texture you can get, or I guess lack of texture. I just love how flat you can get watercolor and it's really difficult, I think, to find another art supply 
where you can do that because even with markers you can really get streaks with whereas watercolor I feel like it's just so easy to get a smooth flat with and it's just look at this it's really hard to get that with colored pencil and I'm just not I'm just not a fan of it and I'm going to use the darker side to create that shadowing effect I always do on the pieces of a creature that are like farther away so you see how this ear is the farther away ear I like to make it darker in general and then create these shadows. Though I wonder if maybe this ear should be a little darker just because the mirror is going to be quite pale itself. I don't know the quality of pencils so I'm not sure if these are any good or not but they seem pretty alright. Um, I got a pretty good gradient over here I think so they seem pretty good to me. But like I said not a pencil person so I'm not really sure what to look for as far as quality goes. Alright so I'll admit I didn't do a great job at filling this in smoothly. I know you're supposed to do small circles to make things look smooth but I think I failed. Though it seems like the shadow going over it is looking a lot better. I think I'm getting the hang of it. Especially I think it's a lot easier like I said to gradient the shadow more than it is to gradient the fill of the character for whatever reason. I don't know if it's because it's darker or because it's kind of like a second layer but I think it's definitely looking a lot better than the first layer did. Okay let's fill in the mirror reflection but go kind of light on it since it is a mirrored reflection. One thing I do like about color pencils is that I don't have to wait for the color to dry like I do with watercolor. Alright so using the tracing paper we've got to create an alternate reality so I thought I would use the tracing paper to create something in the mirror that Hatch is seeing that isn't himself. So let's trace the tracing paper and then cut out something. Well we'll cut out the shape of the mirror and then create something that isn't Hatch. Okay, I thought it would be fun to create our mirrored image separate from our actual image so that when we put them together we will see the effect. So let's think about what we want Hatch to be seeing. I think it would be fun to make Hatch a human. So Hatch is seeing himself as a human character. So I always think it's fun to give Hatch as a human a hair band that kind of looks like ears. So I'm definitely going to be doing that again. And it's always fun to give Hatch a striped shirt because Hatch's tail is striped. Alright so let's ink it. Okay let's color in Hatch the human. Also not sure what to do about the hair color considering we have no brown. Blue might be pretty cool since Hatch has blue skin or fur. Ooh, let's go ahead and color the rest of the mirror black just so that we don't see anything behind it and that'd be kind of a spooky effect. Let's continue coloring. I think I will make the headband a dark blue. I have to say it's pretty nifty switching between the light and dark tones on these pencils. They're right, it is quite easy. Whenever I draw Hatch as a human I make sure there is some sort of a striped element because Hatch's tail is striped so I do think that is a key feature of Hatch. Oh wow purple eyes are weird on Hatch. I'm going to add a little purple to the shadow just because that's usually how I shade my things in watercolor with a little bit of purple. Okay let's take our original drawing, put some glue on this guy and see what happens. I'm going to hold it down just to make sure that it is completely dry. Okay and there is our hatch looking at their human self. You can still kind of see the drawing underneath but let's see what happens when we lift it up. Ooh. I do think that's a really fun effect to play around with with illustration. It's not something I do so I think that was a lot of fun and I had a lot of fun with it. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you had fun as well. Be sure to check out Scholar Box in the description to get your own monthly subscription box and thank you so much for them for sending me a box. You guys should play around with your own tracing paper to see what you can come up with and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.